loving yourself is the most powerful thing we can do, then everything flows. Everything flows beautifully. And I'm not talking about vanity or arrogance, because that is not love. That's always fear. I'm talking about just really respecting and appreciating this incredible, magnificent being that we are. You know, little babies know how to love themselves. You were born in pure love, all of you. There's not one little baby alive I, that I know of that ever criticizes its body or ever says, my hips are too big. Have you ever heard a baby say that? <laughs> They're just thrilled and delighted that they have a body. And they rejoice in it. And they love themselves. They love their toes. They love everything about themselves. They absolutely adore. They f express their feelings. You know, when a baby is happy, you know it. When a baby is angry, the whole neighborhood knows it. They're never scared to let people know how they feel. They live in the moment, and they're filled with courage, and they're wonderful. And we were all like that. You've got to remember that you were filled with courage, and you were full of love, and you adored yourself when you were very little. And then what happens is we start to grow up, and we start to listen to people that were frightened or critical or resentful or guilty. And many of us grew up with people like that. You know, if you grew up in a family where there was criticism was the norm, then you're going to grow up to be a critical person. You're going to look at everything in life as with criticism. And you probably criticize yourself and other people. And you won't enjoy life nearly as much as you could. If you grew up in a family where you were not allowed to express anger, then either you're a person who is terrified of anger or you swallow it down all the time and you let it sit in your body. If you were raised in a family where everybody was manipulated by guilt, then you're probably going to do the same thing. You're probably a person who runs around saying, I'm sorry all the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you can never ask for anything outright because you always want to manipulate somebody. But these are old family patterns. And it's very easy to blame our parents, and it's very easy to blame our childhood or our environment. But the problem with that is that it keeps us stuck. We don't get to be free. We get to stay in our victim thing. And that's no good for anybody. Then we just get to keep having our problems. But remember, you're in charge now. Doesn't matter what your parents said. Doesn't matter what anybody else did. Doesn't matter what you learned. What really matters is what you are choosing to think and say now. Because you're the only person that thinks in your mind. And you choose your thoughts. Now, I can tell you lots and lots of wonderful things. But if you don't choose to listen to them, then they're not going to work at all. So you are always in charge, and you're creating your world and your life. Now, I've known that one of the most powerful affirmations you can use is, I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. And when you first say that, it's amazing what can come up and come to the surface. Lots of times when we begin to say that, all the negative messages come to the surface. And it's marvelous because that gives us an opportunity to know what's been in the way. You see, if you don't hear your negative messages, you don't know what's in your way. So when you start to do an affirmation like I love and approve of myself, you want to really pay attention to what the negative messages are. Because they're the ones that are in the way. And when you find a negative message, if you could write it down, it's wonderful because you want to think, I found a treasure. This is something that's really in my way and really creating a problem. <laughs> Remember, we get to choose the way we think and we can choose to change the way we think. It's always our choice. 